Uh, hello there YouTube. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, root your Galaxy Note 2 for Verizon. And it's a little hard for, for it to root. I know uh, there's a whole post on how to root the phone, but it's a, it's a little difficult. And for some people it's easy and for some other it's not. So I'm going to show you a way that I got my Note 2 after many unsuc unsuccessful attempts to root it. I finally got to root the phone. So if you look at here, I have a couple of files you're going to need to download. So here's the drivers for the Note 2. Uh, this is called Ghetto Root. And this is the application that's going to root your phone. But for now, I'm, I, I included the whole root program in this ADB folder, which we're going to drag to the C drive in a moment. And we're also going to need the, the latest firm, firmware. So now the the firmware we're rooting for the Note 2, it's going to be for 4.4.4.2, uh, which is the latest update f from Verizon. And sorry about that. And yeah, so we're going to root the latest version of it. Now, if for people that are in 4.3, uh, you can update to 4.4.2 and root it. And for people that are on uh, older uh, firmware, like 4.1, 4.2, I think, uh, I recommend you stay with it, which is better, and find other ways to root it. But this is just for the new new uh, uh, updates for the Note 2 for, from Ryzen. And no, this will not unlock your bootloader. It will just root your phone, so it can allow you to remove all the Ryzen adware and, and all of their apps or any apps you don't need. From the system so now let's let's go okay the first thing you're going to do is install samsung galaxy driver so this is going to give you the driver for your note 2 so we're just, i'm just i'll include all these files on the link in the description so just uh extract the samsung driver and just uh install it so you're going to get a folder and you know just open it and install so we're gonna just open it and install and hit yes Okay, now so we're getting ready to install the drivers, and you know, just hit next, next, and that's pretty much it. So this is just gonna give you give us the drivers for the Note Two. Uh, okay, so our driver installation is done. So you're just gonna hit finish, and now we're gonna go set up our ADB and the root. So. What you're going to need is uh, this folder right here. It's called ADB um, RAR. And basically what you can do is drag this, extract it to the C drive. Since uh, this this is the folder we're going to need to root the Galaxy Note 2. We're just going to drag and drop it inside the C. So I'm just going to drag and drop it. And that should be it. So, okay, so now we set up the drivers and the ADB and the root because I put the root inside this folder already. So you, you don't need to get the this this folder called here, get a root. So you don't need that. Now, I found a lot of issues in rooting this phone. So the best way I found to root the phone is to flash it back to stock. So this is where Odin comes in. So you're going to have to flash your phone back to stock and this is the firmware so you're just gonna, and all you're gonna do is open Odin and hit PT I mean AP and this is the file I already like had so you're gonna you know let it load a couple of seconds it'll load and now you go on your phone and what you do on your phone you're gonna first turn off your phone you could just take out the battery quick like right now I have it here, it's, I just took the battery out, it's, it's off right now. So I have my USB cable, all you're going to do is hold down, home, and hit the power button. And now this is called Odin mode, so basically here you can uh, plug in the cable, and what it's going to do is going to delete everything on the phone, and you just put volume up, and it's ready. So right now on the screen, it'll say add it. Uh, com 3 or com 12 it'll be any com and now so you're just gonna see um, you're just gonna hit start and that's it so right now 
it should take about maybe five or ten, ten minutes depending on your system and yeah so we'll come back right now once it's, everything's done so you see the phone has a start status bar it'll hit 100 and it'll just restart so once again make sure you back up your stuff before doing this and yeah i'll be back so now you should have gotten a reset screen and your phone should have booted up and it should be android should be loading so right now uh you're set now what i want you to do also is right now you could just well i mean i know it's resetting but what i recommend you is to take out the battery see it just booted up so take out the battery again plug the wire you don't need that and we're gonna uh wipe everything again so put the battery in now we're gonna hold volume up and home button at the same time and hit power and well, you have volume up home button and then hit power and once it turns on let go of power and keep holding the home button and the volume up so right now you see uh, recovery and we're gonna wipe data and reset So wipe data. We're gonna wipe data and factory reset. Just gonna hit yes. No, you just wait for this. And we're also gonna wipe catch. Wipe catch. And reboot the phone. So now we're just gonna leave the phone there to reboot. Just gonna leave it there. Now we're done here with Odin. Just close it. And now, right now, we just we're almost we're almost done, and we just need to start the rooting. Okay. So while the phone boots, we're gonna go here. To, um, we're gonna go to the command prompt. So right now, I have here command prompt. And we're gonna run it as, as administrator. You're just gonna hit yes. <clears throat> and right now we, we need to go and go to the ADB folder we installed earlier on. So CD and just put CD ADB. Oops, CD ADB, and we're on our ADB folder. Just put third. Okay, and those are the files. So right now you see ghetto root dot bat. That's the, that's the file we're gonna use. So you phone boot it up, and now we're just gonna set up a couple of things to root it, and then we'll go back to the computer. So you, you just here's asking for language, so we're gonna skip all this. So Max, uh, use Wi-Fi. Max, skip. Just uh, for now, we just skip everything. All right. So right now we're in the home screen, and what I need you to do is go to settings, hit settings. We're gonna go to first. We're gonna go to about, and we're gonna go here to. Let me zoom in on that. Bill number. So we're gonna go bill number. Hit keep. Just keep hitting it. Three steps, one step. Okay. So developer mode is, is active. So right here, developer options. We scroll down USB debugging. You turn it on. Click OK. Go back. And now we go. We, we're going to look for something called security. So right here, it says security. And we're going to go here to unknown sources. Hit OK. And you can uncheck this verify apps. So uncheck it. Okay, so right now we're done with the phone part. So we're just gonna um, we're just gonna here, we're just gonna plug it with the USB cable. So I'm just gonna plug that. And 
also make sure your phone is it says right here connected as installer we don't we don't want that right there it says connected as an installer we you, if you if you have this you're you're not going to read your phone so you're going to click on it and just put mpt good so now your phone's ready to be rooted now in the computer what i'm gonna need you to do in the computer you're just gonna your computer just gonna type in uh get a root just ignore that so get a root and you're gonna hit enter and make sure so right now you see this everything got installed so everything's ready so hit enter and then it's telling you welcome to get a root for the samsung galaxy note 2 for 4.4.2 Please confirm you turn USB deg debugging and authorization device, which we did. And now they're asking for authorization. So what that means is on your device, there's a there's a window. It's gonna a window's gonna pop out. So see this? We turn on USB de uh, debugging, and so right now we're gonna So right now we're just gonna press enter and you're gonna see right now on my screen and the note is gonna something's gonna come up right there hit always allow this device and hit, hit okay so right now it says here um, it has fell uh, and all of that that's because I didn't press on it quick so we're just gonna do it again just gonna press enter and then we're gonna write down get a root again and hit again enter and that should be it okay now right now what it's doing is rooting my phone and it's gonna uh, reboot the phone so right now it should it the phone should have been rooted and we're gonna we're gonna wait until the phone uh, boots back up and we'll see if it, if, it, if it's rooted okay it's telling you to press any key and we're done with the computer so right now we're, we'll go back to the phone right now and check if check the phone got rooted so the way you're gonna check is you're gonna going to see if you have super user which it's an app that usually when you root any Android phone it comes with all right so we're gonna check right now all right phones on and scroll let's see okay so here we should see super user we're gonna start looking for it oh nothing and here we go and your phone's rooted it says right here stay up to date with my development follow me no thanks and that's it so your phone's rooted and it's ready to go and now you're asking what can I do with root so basically once the phone's rooted you can delete this app right here so if you have this phone and you're uh, living away in another country and you don't use Verizon or if you're another carrier and you don't need this is just taking space so what you can do is to um, get titanium backup and delete this apps here like right now all these Amazon apps I don't use I don't use an audible this all of that um, you can just delete them and that's pretty much it so uh, thanks for watching and if you have any questions uh, you can ask me I'll try to answer them and yeah so this again this is for the Galaxy Note 2 Verizon I'm pretty sure you can use the same root method for any Note 2 um, in any carrier because I, I heard that the get a root works on them also but right now I'm focusing on Verizon so thanks